Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. There may come a time when you will be unable to collect money owed from a customer. You will want to track this money so your income reports will show you do not expect to collect this money. To do this, you must estimate and record the bad debt in QuickBooks Online. The first step in this process is to click the Create button, and then click the Journal Entry link under the other heading to create a journal entry. To create an allowance for bad debts account, if you don't have one, click into the first row's account column. Then click the Add New Choice to create an Other Current Asset account. In the account page, select Other Current Assets from the Category Type drop-down. Then select Allowance for Bad Debts from the Detail Type drop-down. Then click the Save and Close button to save the account and close the page. In the Credits column, enter the amount of the debt you cannot collect. The final entry on this line is to select the customer from the Name column. To create a bad debt expense account, if you don't already have one, click into the account column on the second line. Then select the Add New Choice. In the Category Type drop-down, select Expenses. Select Bad Debt from the Detail Type drop-down. Then click the Save and Close button to save it and close the page. In the Debits column for the second line, enter the same amount as the Credits column on the first line. Finally, select the Customer from the Name column. You can then enter a memo into the Memo field to note that you are estimating the bad debt if desired. The Attachments section lets you attach copies of invoices or other files if desired. You can attach files up to a total of 25 megabytes. After completing your entries, click the Save and Close button to save the journal entry and close the page. Before the end of the fiscal year, it is a good idea to write off any debt you cannot collect. To do this, click the Create button and then click the Receive Payment link under the customer's heading. In this window, select the name of the customer that owes you uncollectible debt from the first dropdown. Then select the Allowance for Bad Debt account you previously created from the Deposit To field. Enter the amount to write off into the Amount Received field. This information should match the entries made when you originally estimated the debt. Check the invoices that make up the uncollectible debt to clear them from your system. If desired, you can enter a memo into the memo field stating that you are writing off bad debt. This is helpful to keep track of this information at a glance. When finished, click the Save and Close button to save it and close the page. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.